Baby's first word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's just I let's just let's just go through. Let's okay. just go through it first and we'll talk about it. Yeah, I don't I don't know it because okay, yeah. too much stuff. Well I'll discover it. I'm gonna just say it. Um <laughs> yeah. my baby's first word was nigga. Uh he must have heard me say it and I was thinking, nah, stop playing. You know how long I've been waiting, anticipating for my son to say a word and I heard this pure hatred. This is my fault. It went so wrong, it could have been the N-word song. Y'all YouTube that. It, it might have sunk deep in his memory. Now his first word is offending me. He sounded like the enemy. But who's the enemy when every friend of me, I call my nigga. My niggas say it so tenderly. We said that we empowered what was meant to hurt. Now I use the word every time I pen a verse. It's like we reinvented the curse. But when your child lets it out, is it cool or is it worse? Word to Jigger. Yo, my baby's first word was nigga. Tell me what do I do? I couldn't be sicker, I looked uncomfortably. The little dude said it real loud in front of company. They took it all as a joke, it's not funny, B. They was like, what you said? And like nothing, he repeated it with clarity, added some intonation, like he really understood he could use it in conversation. Dudes high five and I'm feeling ashamed, but this is all my doing, so why am I here complaining? See, it's not like it's profanity, but man, I know my mother would be mad at me. And her mother would have started smacking me if she was here. This is clear, I can't start a family. I can't even curve the words out of the mouth of a kid that got most of his knowledge from my house. My girl and I are still trying to figure how he heard it's real absurd, but yo, my baby's first word was nigga. I think it could have been too much Kanye West, DMX, Help the Skelter, Stealing Tech, Made My Youngin' Feel Effects, DJ Khaled, We the Best Parents, Damn It, No Sir, We a Mess, Serious Radio, Seriously, I'm feeling stressed. Cinemax, no PBS, Worldstar, they CBS, not the channel CBS, my kid sees BS. We let our blood and flesh disrespect how we progress, but I can't blame no rappers. This could be a test. Yes, I'm conflicted. Jay went on Oprah, said we took the word and stripped it, and I was like, yeah, nigga, look at how we flipped it. Until I heard nigga out the mouth of an infant. And I don't even know if it's wrong. We throw it out like it's nothing. It's in movies and songs, and Latinos even say it's so strong. Am I bugging? Would it matter if we all got along? Someone talk to me. Damn, my nigga, that's what my man said. Handing me liquor, I tilt my sad head back like I know, son. Not mommy, not daddy, I feel so dumb. He said it's not like he smoked one or he totes guns. That's a close one, because this is the beginning. It's like symbolism. I'm raising a little nigga that might be meant for prison. Or maybe this is supposed to expose how I've been slipping as a human, as an artist, as somebody that's responsible. And not drop lessons, but tell you nothing's impossible. And using racist words may seem like something logical until you hear a white man say it. You want to pop the dude. Not rap songs or videos, but everyday speech on my lip. Damn, there I go again. I'm stuck. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> I don't know if he'll get older than forget it. Word the jizzer. Word the rizzer. Word the digger. Yo, my baby's first word was nigga. Tell me what do I do. Yo, so I, um, like, I really like getting this one. One of the things I just really enjoy about you, I actually, my first time seeing you live was last year, at last oh, year's A3C, oh man, yeah. out at um, the outside stage yeah. joint or whatever. And um, I had heard your music before, and um, I was like, yeah, child's cool, you know? But it was seeing you live mm -hmm. and seeing, like, you don't see too many artists do storytelling songs in a live format and hold the audience's attention, particularly an outside venue type of deal. And I was like, oh, this is, um, I actually can't, song might not be so appropriate right now, but, 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 uh, but it, was, it, was a, it was a dope, like it was completely um, just engaging. And so, last year? Last year. You know exactly what I'm saying? You know, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting there like, yo, like, I'm, you know, and there's so much going on at A3C. Shout out to A3C, thank you for everything. But so so much is going on. Smelly Cat. That's what it was. Smelly Cat. Smelly Cat, yes. 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 <laughs> not, the, not the Phoebe. Not Phoebe. Not Phoebe's, no. It was, but yes, it was, um, but there's so much going on at A3C and so, multiple stages, and you know, you kind of go and you're like, yo, okay, this person's performing now. They were supposed to go on an hour ago. They're up now. I'll go. And 
I'll stay for like five minutes and then head over to somewhere else. I went to shop to see Shy on stage and I was like, yeah, I'll just stay here for five minutes. 15 minutes later, I'm still like there engaged. And it has to do with kind of pieces like this one that we're talking about right now. Um, I hadn't heard this before you sent it over. This is my first time hearing it. And it just, it really, what I loved about it definitely is just, you know, the anecdotal side of it, right? Like this is, immediately you start out in the middle of the situation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right snap in the middle. You know what I mean? And it's, and it's a personal pronoun, it's my. You know what I'm saying? Like, my baby's first word was nigga. It can go a host of different ways from there, right? Like, who knows what's happening? And so, but immediately, right at the second line comes this self-reflection or wondering, like, he must have heard me say it. Like, immediately. It wasn't like, who taught my kid this? <laughs> what has he been seeing or listening to? It's, yo, it's me. It must be me, right? You don't see, and to Book's point, you don't see, uh, you know, hip hop gets a lot of, you know, knocks for a lot of things, but we own up to a lot of things yeah. on a consistent basis, right? And that this is one of the, so I just wanna, really going back to the origin of this, one, is it a true story? No, I, I'm not a parent at all. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. I have a nephew. You have a nephew, okay. I think that actually heightens it, my appreciation for it. Yeah. The fact that you don't have a child. Um, it's not too late. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I'll say this, like, um, what, you know, I, I, can, I can make assumptions, but, but what, what, what sparked this? Like, well, I did an EP called A March in March, and before I did a, I did a, I did a mixtape called March on Washington, where I touched on a lot of political issues, and I did a song called The N-Word Song, and it was really just talking about the word nigga and just reflecting on all different sides. And there was a lot of different arguments about people considering, you know, whether it was right or wrong to use it. You know, people have been talking about that. And this time, I didn't want to give people one side as far as, um, you know, leaning a certain way. I just wanted to throw it out there. And my way of throwing it out there was saying, we use the word, and some people are saying that we empowered it, you know, it's okay. And I just took it in another light. Like, okay, what if your child was to say it? Like, is that okay? Is that cool? And it wasn't just, like, it's talking about the N-word, but it's, it's a real broad, a broad view, because when you say he must have heard me say it, like, that's my accountability for a lot of things mm -hmm. that we put upon our children, that our children are seeing. So I just, like, this song to me was a, a, a small version of everything that the kids are seeing. And I wanted to put it out there and just say, okay, we say things are okay, but what if your child is doing it? Yeah. You know, what, what makes it okay? And that's... That was really what sparked it. And I just started with that line and everything I wrote was just imaginative of what it could be, you know. Yeah. I mean, I because I'm I feel like I'm especially in the in the second verse, I feel like I'm in the room with you. Right. You know, yeah. as you're saying, you know, I can see, you know, little dude saying it loud and you know, there being a levity about it, like, oh that's cute, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you realize like the things, it's almost like you know, you have a kid who could be extremely precocious, extremely knowledgeable, and they like, they speak like an adult, and you think it's cute, because yeah. they're young. Yeah. Then they get a little bit older, and it's not cute anymore. Like, why are you talking like an adult? Like, you need to respect, you know, the fact that there's an elder in front of you, whatever. Um, I guess I'm curious, like, I mean, first off, what's been kind of feedback that you've gotten from the song, um, generally? For me, I knew it, it came out on the EP that kind of, you know, went under the radar. So I wanted this to come on my album, like an official album. Okay. Yeah. But at the time, I just felt like it needed to come out. Like I needed the message to get out there. So um, the feedback has been has been good. I, I don't think the song um, is as good as the words. So okay. you know, doing these EPs every month, I kind of rush with gotcha. the beats and stuff like that. So I didn't I didn't get the output that I wanted musically. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably will remix it and make it a bigger, really? bigger record. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got that EP. Um, I don't. I don't have any physical thing, but it's, it's, but on, it's online. Shots yeah, it's on shotstimuli.com. Yeah, on shotstimuli.bandcamp.com. It's called the March. My baby's first word was nigga. He must have heard me say it. I was thinking, nah, stop playing. You know how long I've been waiting, anticipating for my kid to say a word, and I heard this pure hatred. This is my fault. 
It went so wrong. It could have been the N-word song. YouTube 